Okay, gonna do a walkthrough of the RV. This is from the front edge. The electric tongue jack, 230 gallon or 230 pound propane cylinder, so 60 pounds of propane. That's a battery, so I can run the tongue jack when we're not connected. This is the sliding glass door. There's stairs to pull out there. And then there's a big, I think it's a 20 foot awning, outdoor speakers. And this is the back doorway of the, of the RV, which goes in the master bedroom. That's where we'll go in. It does have a screen door. So this is the master bedroom from the doorway. There is cabinetry above the bed. There's a light there, a light over the bed, and another light there. Window on either side of the bed. It's a queen size bed. Big picture window at the back, which also you can see the red handle that pops out and it's an emergency exit if for some reason you can't get out anywhere else. Then this is the closet and a little stand. You can put a TV or we're going to put a shelf there to have some more shelf space little cabinet there and that's the screen door and the doorway that goes from the bedroom into the front part of the RV this little hallway here is in between the two slides the bed is in a slide there is this angled corner cabinet like a little pantry or whatever extra pantry and then that is directly across from the bathroom which angles facing it. So there's those, that's the bedroom door back there, another window in that hallway, and another pantry. This is the main pantry, just outside of the slide box. The bathroom, there's the sink and storage base, medicine cabinet and mirror. And then there is another linen cabinet in here and robe and towel hook. And then a big corner shower it has a latch on it so it doesn't come open driving down the road. But pretty good size shower unit. Lots of headspace, a big skylight, and a vent fan. So plenty of room for showering in there. Air conditioner thermostat. And that down there is a carbon monoxide detector. Uh, Heat comes in through the floor ducts and air conditioning comes out through ceiling ducts since warm air rises and cool air falls. There are smoke detectors in every main area. Again, this is another main pantry. You can see all that. And then this is the big slide box. This is the dinette. So this slide box runs basically the whole length of the kitchen, dining room, living room area. The two bench seats have storage underneath it. It goes all the way out to the outer wall. Uh, you can put, a, you can buy plastic trays that sit down in there and you can slide those out and bring everything forward. Or you can take the cushion off and lift up the plywood that's under there to get into it from the top. The dinette table is freestanding, so it can be pulled out completely, you know, whatever, adjusted any way that you need to, and can even be folded up and taken out of the, taken out of the area altogether, or moved over in front of the couch. The couch folds out into a uh, queen size sleeper sofa. There is some storage cabinetry above the couch as well. There is 
12 volt and USB charging in the middle of the slide wall. And then again, lamps about the couch and the dinette. This is the entertainment center with a small, I think it's a 26 inch, maybe a 24 inch. Anyway, small TV, which is fine. That'll be my computer monitor because I'll just sit on the couch and, and work. And that'll be my computer monitor. This is the entertainment hub. So it's AM, FM radio, CD player, DVD player. Uh, doesn't do Blu-ray, and that's okay, but it'll do regular DVDs and play them onto the, onto the TV. And then the audio can be sent to three zones. Zone A is these two speakers at the living room end of the main cabin. Zone B are the two speakers back in the dining room kitchen end of the main cabin. And then Zone C sends it to the outside speakers that I showed you on the outer wall. And you can pick which of those, any or all, any combination or all of them. The kitchen has some drawers down here for some smaller stuff. The slides and the awning operating switches are down there. And the outdoor and main zone uh, lighting switches. Uh, turns them on and then each light is controlled by its own flip switch so whatever light you want on you can turn on uh, the kitchen has a full-size um, farm style sink single well another drawer little storage area under the under the sink the sink cover is also a cutting board has the high faucet and again the deep single bay or single well farm style sink uh, small cabinet but fairly deep for RV cabinet up here and we'll go through and get that all cleaned up and organized as we move in has a pretty decent size microwave it's not a convection microwave but it is a regular microwave oven range hood that is the water pump and uh, water tank. So this is the water heater, gas and electric heat. You can turn those on and off. And then this is the water pump and the tank full levels. And you can choose the, the regular gray tank, the black tank, the freshwater tank, the galley, and then you can also check the battery life uh, and then turn the pump on there. And then the stove is a three burner propane stove and a fairly decent RV size oven given how old it is. A lot of the newer ones aren't even as big as that one. And then the prize of our kitchen is the 18 cubic foot, pretty much full size refrigerator. So lots of fridge space, actually more space than we have in our uh, in our apartment <laughs> so that is I can tighten that up anyway that's put ice trays or whatever but that is the kitchen and refrigerator on both sides of the slide box there is uh, a window and then two big picture windows one behind the couch and one behind the dinette and then the other side of the slide box uh, storage above the entertainment area it's not huge but you can fit our little folder books of DVDs and CDs that stuff will fit in there there is a little box down here in which you can put like your uh, uh, Apple TV or whatever streaming device and it can be connected via HDMI and run through and a little more storage down here for whatever we need and then coat hooks jacket hooks and over here this is the very front of the RV this is the bunkhouse so that uh, armoire is built in there is electrical on the roof um, and satellites so you can actually put a small TV up there if you want and that's not what we will do but uh, could do that we'll probably put a printer up there 
and then each bunk has its own window on both sides and the bunks fold up out of the way uh, depending on how everything goes we will probably take both of the the lift bunks out completely um, there is some storage up there and electrical outlet for charging or plug-in laptops or whatever and lighting and same over here only this side this side is where we're going to put Lindsay's desk this is a dinette so we'll take both of those benches out and the table out and we'll take this lift bunk out and put her desk in there and on her side there is also a 12 volt and um, USB charge center there and plugs there where she can plug in her computer but this will become her desk on this area over here and then there's a really deep armoire which will become a second closet space uh, heavier jackets uh, hanging winter clothes anything that doesn't really fit back in our in our main closet will then go in here uh, like I said we're taking out we're taking out the probably both top bunks and then all of the mattresses will come out and this area over here will be storage for her craft cabinets and possibly a printer depending on what we find out if we can fit it up here or not if not it'll go down here but uh, that will all be in the office air conditioning duck in here so she can direct it you know at herself or whatever there are four lights one over each bunk so when the bunks are out she'll have lots and lots and lots of lighting and uh, plenty of space to work in here Oop, forgot that one but that is the bunkhouse our hope is to be able to uh, put in a second AC unit uh, it's already pre-wired for one in the bedroom the master bedroom and so right now the single AC unit which comes in here has these little side slats at the sides in the back and you can open or close those if you close them all then it forces a little bit of air comes in and then the return but then it forces the air through the duct system to come out the AC vents up here and then what we're hoping to do is lock off the duct that goes from the AC back to this outlet in the bedroom because it's already pre-wired and has the spot for an AC unit to be put in dedicated for the bedroom and that's what we plan on doing I'm running everything in the unit on one uh, on one generator I don't know if you can see it out there really well there's both out there but I only have the one on the right that's the only one that I have hooked up and it's on a 30 amp circuit. So I've got a 30 amp uh, step down adapter on my 50 amp power cord. I have the second generator and I have the parallel kit which allows me to run a, a 50 amp service. But as it stands, I can run the entire RV, everything that needs to run, uh, running it all at one time on a 30 amp service. And then if we put in the second air conditioner we would need to put in or we need to run on 50 amps but if we were in a position where we didn't you know we didn't have shore power and we needed to run the the unit and didn't want to take out both generators or only had enough fuel to run the one generator we could do that on a 30 amp or if we were at a, an rv campground that only had 30 amp services we just wouldn't run the second uh the second air conditioner, we can just run the single unit and have plenty of power to run everything. I've been in here for about an hour. It was hot when I came in, but I've been running the, the uh, AC unit since I got here and got the generator hooked up. 
and it's very comfortable inside now probably probably 74 degrees not bad um, if you're not doing a lot of moving around it's very pleasant it's very comfortable it's actually as comfortable or more so than the apartment when we're in it so anyway just wanted to give you a walkthrough and let you see what's soon to be home i'll do another one once we get stuff moved in so you can see the whole place uh, as it as it is home